Hey you all, this is Turtle Tantrums and I'm here today with a pretty neat video. Before I get into this however, I first of all want to thank every single one of you for getting me to 50 subscribers. I hate that about last week and I'm pretty excited about it. I recently joined a really supportive group chat for a small YouTuber on Discord, which Lexi B invited me to and have been having a really amazing experience through there. I have been in these types of chats before and it's usually just full of spam and a lot of hostile sub for subs, so it's been really refreshing being in such a supportive and caring environment, so thank you all for that, seriously. Two weeks ago I was at like 30 subs and as soon as they joined this group it seemed to me that my sub count kind of went up pretty fast, so thank you guys, you guys are so kind. Now Lexi B tagged me in this thing called a YouTube tag. Okay, maybe she didn't tag me. Maybe I kind of forcefully persuaded her to tag me. Maybe, maybe the evidence is not in your face right now. Nope, nobody nope. Uh, but the reason why I really wanted to do this was because I feel like in my videos, I never get to speak to you all and rather speak at you. It's much easier for me to do since I am perfectly fine with talking to myself. I'm not crazy, don't worry about it. But speaking to an audience and acknowledging them just makes me really anxious. So please excuse my messiness. Uh, so let's ramble and answer these questions. Alright, so the first question is, how long have you been doing YouTube? I created my channel on May 10th, but didn't upload any videos until June 1st, so I have been on here for about 4 months now. Number 2, how many videos do you have on your channel? When this post, I should have about 55 videos. I think it's actually exactly 55. Sheesh. <laughs> um, number three, what was your favorite video to record? So my favorite video to record was either my Unturned Planes and Tanks video or my Mind's Eyes video, the first one especially. Both are just hilarious and made me laugh so hard while recording. The Unturned video was also a blast to edit. <laughs> um, number four, who is your favorite YouTuber? So I've been watching YouTube for a very long time now, um, probably since I was like 10 or 11 because it kind of got big around that. Well, not big, but it kind of started out then. I've watched so much content, it's crazy. Like all I do is watch YouTube nowadays. I'm consumed by it. <laughs> Sounds kind of like a cult or something. All I do is watch YouTube. It's all I do. But yeah, I have a lot of favorite YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers that I watch on like a pretty much daily occurrence because obsessions. But um, I do have a lot of YouTubers I love, both big and small channels alike. But if I had to pick one channel specifically that I love above all else, else, <laughs> it has to be Geek Remix. This is a channel ran by two girls who are best friends and they are hilarious. They are also incredibly socially aware, which is really refreshing to see in the toxic YouTube gaming community or the gaming community in general. Pick another YouTuber to collaborate with. Alright, look, this is hard to do because I want to collaborate with all, everyone, every single person. I want to, not everyone in the world, but I want to collaborate with all my friends. Like, I'd love to do that eventually. My only problem is my schedule doesn't really work very well for everyone else because I live on the west coast and so they all live on like the east coast and stuff because they suck and I can't record until late 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 at night and when it's late night here like 11 p.m. it's gonna be like 2 a.m. for them and it's crazy but yeah I love to record with all the friends that I've made so far on YouTube I think that'd be a blast there are like too many people that I love to collab with and I cannot wait until I'm able to seriously Number six, where do you see your channel in the future? I have no idea where I see my channel in the future. It is going to be so unexpected, I don't know. I mean, I hope that I'm going to be able to grow and as a channel, as a content creator. I really want to see that. I want to see my community grow and I want, I hope to see it full of like a loving and supporting community rather than like the trollsy sub for sub community. Um, pretty much the same now but expanded to a wider audience. That would be awesome. Number seven, what quote or saying do you live by? So okay, the quote is what makes night within us may leave stars by Victor Hugo. I know it's cheesy as hell but hear me out. This is a quote that I found while taking theater in high school. Yes, I took theater in high school the last two years. Best decision of my life, even though I regretted it immediately. And it really impacted me at the time because I was going through a lot of struggles with my family, with myself, going through depression and stuff like that. I was just going through the worst times in my life pretty much. Not in my life, but at the time it was just really difficult to overcome everything. And this quote really showed me that even though there are going to be some dark times, that in the end there is a reason for it and there will be a lot of positive things that come out of it. Kind of like Lexi B's little quote where she was like, you know, there's going to be an end to it. There's going to be an end to all the dark times. And I really like this one because it shows you, hey, 
you know, while there's an end, there's also going to be some good out of all this bad that's happening. There's a reason this stuff happens and hopefully you can find some good. My character development has changed because of the bad things that happened to me and I feel like it has made a positive impact in a way. That's my favorite quote. So number eight. Why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube because I pretty much adored watching other YouTubers have fun and be so happy. Like everyone I've watched do YouTube have always said really positive things about it. I mean, there are of course the crappy things that happen on YouTube, but overall they are genuinely happy with how things are going on YouTube. So I started thinking to myself, well, maybe YouTube is really that amazing. You know, like maybe there's something in this. Me being a really creative person too, it's just like, it's really calling to me. I didn't think that I like it so much, but yeah. When I first started, I thought I was just going to love um, playing games games and making commentary and that editing would be a chore but it's kind of like art to me like there's something in it that just really relaxes me and keeps me like in this really calming mind state where I don't have to think about things but I can just do which I really enjoyed and I've actually had a blast editing the videos just as much as I have playing the games and recording and stuff like the entire process just makes me feel incredibly productive and really really happy and even though my channel has been slow going I feel like it has been an amazing experience for me uh let's see number nine what challenges have you faced as a youtuber and how do you overcome them or how did you overcome them well you see my thing is technology hates me <laughs> i don't know why i'm doing this i don't know why i don't know why i like digital art more than traditional art i don't know why i decided to do this entire thing but technology hates my gut so i have been having a lot of difficulties at times with recording software messing up on me editing programs refusing to uh, cooperate or even games just not working period and you'll see my rants on twitter about it all the time <laughs> so that's been like really my biggest challenge to overcome because it's a pain when you know you're recording something you think you got everything saved and everything and it just disappears or is corrupted or something happens and you're like fuck because that's a lot of time you put into that and you want to edit it and then there's nothing there and you gotta redo it that's happened a lot. Um, other than that, I suppose branching out and networking has been difficult for me to do. I always feel very anxious when talking to people or commenting on their videos, so it's held me back a bit. Luckily, I do have some friends, <coughs> like CB, <coughs> who has been who have been helping me out with that. Has been happen. How do you grammar? Um, number ten. This is the last question. Question. What are your inspiration for videos? All right, there's a lot of inspiration for videos, you guys. There's a lot. So my inspiration for videos are probably my favorite channels. I love watching the videos now and seeing like an editing technique that I recognize. And like, I get really excited because I'm like, oh, I know how to do that, oh my God. Um, other than that, my inspiration is drawn by the games that I play, my friends, and my small little community, I guess. Um, I love receiving feedback and it definitely inspires me to keep creating content. Not only is it incredibly fun for me to do, but others are actually enjoying what I do. And like, it makes them happy, and that makes me happy, and everyone's happy! <laughs> I so nerdy. Alright, so those are the answers. Sorry if I'm awkward and pause a lot while answering things. I am pretty bad at speaking consistently and smoothly, but what the hell am I gonna do about it, right? Like, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Alright, so there's a lot of people I wanna tag, but I think that a lot of people I wanna tag have already done this. So, lucky me. The first person I'd like to tag is Complicated91. I think that this will be a good video for him. He is a really awesome friend of mine. He has been there since like my first video actually. I think he's one of my first subscribers and he is an, an incredibly supportive friend. I didn't really start talking to him until like very recently because I was too scared to approach him. What a surprise. But yeah, you should definitely do this and if you don't want to, do it anyways. I don't care. You want to talk to your subscribers. Come on, you want to. The second person I'll be tagging is Roman Soldier. I know that you're kind of like out of the loop of YouTube right now because there hasn't been any good games and stuff, but I figured, you know, hey, I'll give you a chance and you could go and record. Go record some good content content man i know you want quality over quantity so make this quality okay uh, i think that you'd enjoy this too so just just go and do the things and if you don't want to if you really really don't want to you suck okay <laughs> i'm being so mean you guys are my friends though but yeah broman soldier is a really cool channel as well um i actually met him before i started youtube like uh well i started youtube I had my YouTube profile and stuff, and I was posting on like little small YouTube communities that I do art for people. Worst idea ever, by the way, don't do that. <laughs> and he requested that I did his thumbnails. I did his thumbnails for like a month, and I was like, this is too hard. This is why I'm not doing my own thumbnails. It's too much. I can't do that. I just, I can't. And so I actually like, 
I really, really felt bad, but I was like, I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. And he's like, dude, it's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, Roman Soldier, he's a really nice guy. And his videos are like fine quality. Like, oh, yeah. He hasn't posted in a while because he sucks. But um, no, he just wants to find some good games to play. He doesn't want to just throw things at you the way I do. <laughs> All right. And the next person I like to tag is Ninja Squirrel. He is someone that I've met recently as well. I met him through Complicated 91. And he's a really, really funny guy. Uh, we had a lot of like Twitter discussions. I don't know how anything happened. But yeah, I think that you like doing this. Um, you seem to like to interact with subscribers a lot. So yeah, go do this as well, okay? And uh, yeah, I, I don't know who else to tag because I think a lot of the people that I've met recently all tagged each other. <laughs> like Lexi B, she, she tagged me. I mean, what? She totally did, right? Anyone else who wants to do this, go ahead and feel free to do it. There's nothing stopping you. If you want me to actually like knight you and tag you, I will do it on Twitter. Just let me know or I'll do it in the comments, whatever. I will be like, you are crowned. Now go do the thing. That way you don't feel left out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Comment down below if you have anything you want to say to me. Just know, you know, sub for subs, your hoes. And subscribe to me if you enjoy your content or just me. Why not? All right. So I'm going to go. This is Turtle Tantrums. Goodbye. I'm really bad at this. Hello you all, this is Turtle Tantrums. I am here today to announce something I plan on doing in the next month of Halloween. Nope, not October. The month is literally just called Halloween. Pretty much what I want to do for this month is play as many horror games as I can. So I want to record a series for the channel along with playing mini horror games on the side. The series that I will be playing is Outlast and it's DLC Whistleblower. I think that'll be a really fun game to play and it's one of those, like horror games that just puts you on the edge of your seat, you know? It's a good one. It has the story and everything other organs that I could just play.